Hello everyone, now I am going to show you how to interface energy meter through Modbus RTU in RDL Industrial Data Logger. As per energy meter parameters, I am going to configure the data logger. Build your comprehensive IoT solution in less time. Supporting multiple option with latest and legacy machines. Plug and play configuration manager that is enable configuration of all IO interfaces and protocols like JSON, MQTT, FTP. API made it easier than ever to monitor and integrate solutions. First let us see connection diagram. Here energy meter plus terminal is connected to the data logger A terminal and energy meter minus terminal is connected to the data logger B terminal. Here you can see the connection diagram. Now, click on RDL Industrial Data Logger Configuration Manager software and select the COM port and click on Open Use the default password RDL123 during login. Next in IO settings, select the Modbus RTU options by clicking Read button and then Save button. Click on Modbus RTU from the sidebar menu and click on COM port settings, then click on Read to know the previous stored configuration and now open the respective energy meter datasheet and note down the respective register details and RS485 interface settings. As per our energy meter datasheet, I am going to select baud rate 9600, data bit 8, parity even, and stop bit 1. Next, based on meter or slave type, the register polling classified in three banks, named as Modibus R1, Modibus R2, and Modbus R3. Here I am configuring in Modbus R1. Click on Read button and select checkbox to enable Modbus register bank R1, and click on Save button. Here, click on this Read button to enter Modbus register details. Register address will be the numbers excluding 4 for example, here I will select holding register 40157, but I am going to give start address as 157 which contain the frequency data. 141, 143, 147 are having the voltage data, and this is a float, so I will select float in conversion. Length as given as 2. Here for each register, select enable or disable checkbox to pull the register value. Here our one register bank supports 10 slave devices. Each slave you can configure maximum length up to 100 registers and then click on save button. If you want more register to read you can use Modbus R2 and Modbus R3 also. Where Modbus R2 supports for 32 similar slaves or meters with 30 registers length for each slave or meter. And Modbus R3 supports 10 slaves. For each slave 10 start registers are available. But here I am enabling Modbus R1 option only. Next is polling interval, in this, you can set the polling interval time for Modbus R1 and Modbus R2 in seconds minutes or hour by clicking read button and then save button. And click on checkbox to save the data to the SD card. Now we will push the data to the cloud using MQTT through Wi-Fi communication media. Click on Wi-Fi slash GPRS slash 4G slash LTE in the sidebar menu and in this communication media, select Wi-Fi by clicking on Read button and then Save. Next, go to Wi-Fi settings. In this access point click on Read, then set your Wi-Fi SSID and password and click on Save. Here I am setting our Wi-Fi SSID and password. Here click on Read and select the MQTT then Save and come to this MQTT section. Here click on Read and provide the MQTT credentials. Here I am giving our MQTT credentials. And then save it. Now you can see the data in the Analyze screen, and also you can see the data at the broker end as shown. The energy meter is connected as shown in the video.